feel that I'm obligated to talk because I came in in 1960 uh, through the military and came across the San Bernardino Mountain coming up to Los Angeles. I don't know if anybody remember that smog was so bad you couldn't even get in there. Well, the EPA and all of the environmental, um, our services, are, our government changed a lot of things. The point I'm trying to make is that we've seen how the improvements have uh, been made with our quality of air and everything. It was so bad in those years, when 1960, that the smog just burned your eyes. And I know you can't have anything without uh, destroying something when you try to make progress. What I'm saying is also that we have improved quite a bit with our air quality, and I'm sure that, that the oil companies, when they did what they did, maybe they didn't take all the precautions that they should have taken. But now that in this day and time, we know how things are uh, done and what kind of things that uh, hinder and hurt our environment for our children and everything. So I'm still asking you to look into the possibility of all everything that would uh, impact our lives, for our children, and our environment. We owe it to everybody, not just to the city and the people of Carson, but we need to make an example to all the, uh, say, the United States where this fraction has occurred. So I'm asking you to just really use your powers to investigate the possibility of everything that could happen to us and happen to the community and everything and make the decision and be an example to some of the states. I know you heard of and seen how fraction and everything have destroyed some of these little cities and everything and how it affects our environment. So thank you.